guys, welcome back to my channel. So I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a very, very long time. So I was like, you know what, Laura, today you should film a chit chat, get ready with me video. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly on my face, but I'm guessing it's not going to be anything too extreme or dramatic. But I really just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys because I haven't done that in so incredibly long. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna be using Benefit Hula Bronzer, and I'm just gonna put that kind of in the hollows of my cheeks. I love Hula Bronzer so much. Like, seriously, it's just like an amazing, very, very basic bronzer, but it's just always foolproof, like always. I'm getting really, really into trying new, like, brands of makeup. Like, I really want to do an order for Dry Cosmetics, and I really want to do a order for Lipland Cosmetics. I feel like those two are just getting a lot of attention on the gram recently, and it's making me really, really want to purchase them. Like, I've never really been interested in the brands before, like, Dry Cosmetics in specific, um, but I've been seeing it all over Instagram, and I'm getting really, really, like, intrigued about it. So I did prime my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, I'm now going to go into this new Essence palette that I'm obsessed with. I did film my first impressions, but I don't know if I'm going to get time to edit it. If I do and it's already up on my channel, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, and I'll link it down below. But yeah, this palette is so bomb, like so incredibly bomb. Anyway, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this shade up here, and I'm just going to mix it in with this shade, and I'm just kind of going to get a combination of the two, and then I'm going to apply that to my crease. I'm going to go in with my Australis AC Heart Me eyeshadow in the shade Bronze Once. I know these have changed now to be metallics, and I think this is called Guns N' Roses, maybe? I don't know. It's just this colour here, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to apply that to my eyelid, probably going to stop about there. I'm now just going to take my Vizart palette. This is the Paris Nudes palette, and I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of this colour here, and I'm just going to run that on the outside. I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro, the original one, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this deep purple shade, and I'm just going to apply that to my outer corner of the upper lid. I'm trying to blend, and it's not really working. Like, do you guys ever just put a shadow down, and it just will not blend out? It's really, really bugging me. Like, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Sable from Lorac as well. Is that how you said Lorac? Lorac? I don't know. And I'm just going to place that just in my crease a little bit. In Australia, there's this festival called Defcon. I, I've never been, I, I've never actually been to a festival before, so I don't really know what to expect. But people always post on Facebook, like, I have post Defcon depression and stuff. And it's kind of like being sad that, like, the event's over for the year. Well, anyway, I have post IMAX depression. Like, I'm not depressed. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not depressed. But I'm just really, really sad that it's over and I have to wait till next year for IMATS to come around again. Like, I don't know if you guys even understand what I'm trying to say, but I'm just, I just miss IMATS so much. It was just a fun, amazing day. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this light bronze shade from the Lorac Pro Palette, and I'm just gonna apply that to my inner corner. That didn't really do all that much. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, so instead I'm gonna be taking this shade, which is called Lemon Tart, I think, from my MAC Warm Neutrals Palette. And I'm just going to apply that to my inner corner instead. It's just a yellow color. Oh yeah, that's a lot brighter than that light bronze shade. Now I'm just going to take a kind of short shader brush. And I'm just going to go in with this shade. I don't know what it's even called. Divine Decadence from MAC. And I'm just going to apply that to my lower lashes. I've been palette hopping so much recently. Like just kind of like mixing all different palettes together. Like do you prefer tutorials where you just use one palette? Or would you prefer like just using heaps of different palettes and getting like the perfect look? I'm going to put on my favorite lipstick of the minute. This is by NYX and it's their black label lipstick in the shade Heress. H-E-I-R. E -double -S. Seriously, it is so gorgeous. Look. No joke, my favorite lashes of life are the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I don't know what I'll do without them, to be honest, because they're just so incredibly good. So what TV shows have you guys been liking at the moment, or like Netflix series? I have been watching Jane the Virgin, and no joke, it is so funny. Like, I don't know if funny is even the right word, but like, I'm addicted to it. It's just so hilarious. I'm just going to brush through a little bit of L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper through my eyebrows, just to give my eyebrows a tiny bit more texture. And now I'm just going to stick on some Ardell Wispy Lashes. I love these lashes so much. So much concentration when you put on lashes. Like, I seriously, like, hold my breath. I'm like... 
and then I try and put them on. Um, I did just quickly line my lips with the L'Oreal Couture by Colorish Lip Liner in the shade 302 Voice. De Rose, is that even how you say it? This is very, very similar to Brave Lipstick by MAC, I think. So, Do you guys ever take baby photos of your makeup, like when it's brand new? Because I feel like I do that all the time. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and I'm just gonna apply that to the highest points of my cheeks. And just because it's right in front of me, I'm gonna be using a little bit of Becca Champagne Pop um, that was created by the lovely Jacqueline Hill here on YouTube. And I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. I feel like I didn't even like hardly chat in this video. I am so, so sorry. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm super, super happy with how it turned out. It's nothing all that different from what I normally do. It's just using different products because I do like doing the same look, just rotating my products around. So yay. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked the look and I hope this was somewhat entertaining for you guys. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It seriously helps me out so much. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.